Good morning, it is Sunday and Koji is about to leave. My mom is on the way over to pick her up. She has been such a handful. What are you doing? Quit licking the stuff on the ground. Go, go, go. Such a handful. She's so dang cute, but just such a handful. I didn't sleep last night because she had to sleep in the bed and she was just waking me up all night. I think at one point I woke up thinking, oh my god, it must be like four in the morning. No, it was two, and I just got to bed at like one. So I was like, oh my god, I'm not sleeping. Look at her. Hey. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. No. 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 She does not listen. Not listen at all. Mom, you need to have a little bit better doggy parenting. So I'm totally out of breath right now because I ran upstairs to get my camera, but trying to watch the blood moon, it's crazy how small it looks. And then with the zoom, it's still super small. Pretty cool though. I probably won't keep filming because I want to switch my camera card over to my nice camera so I get some good photos. Very cool though. So here is a video of the closest that I can get. The blood moon is about to occur. And by the way, I'm not filming on my A6000. This is my Canon 60D for those of you who are curious. So no, the Sony cannot do this. Hey pups. So it is Monday. It's extremely windy outside. Um, but I'm out here on my lunch break and it's nice even though it's kind of hot. It's like nice and windy so I was like I'm gonna come sit out here on my lunch break. I wish that I would have remembered to film this morning because when I got to work the super moon... Is that a scratch on my car? Someone hit my car? That better not be a scratch on my car. The super moon has caused extremely high tides like higher than normal for South Florida. Uh, in fact, Miami Beach closed down um, and no one was allowed to drive because the flooding was so intense. Um, so when I got to work this morning, I always park right here on the water. So of course the first thing that I noticed when I got here is how high the water was because it was literally to the top of the dock. Check out this. Okay, so that water is a lot lower now, uh, probably like three or four feet, um, which is really scary because that's crazy to me that like the super moon caused tides that were about four to five feet tall. Yeah, that's most certainly someone hit my car, which makes me really irritated because I just had body work done. This will come off. I literally just had body work done. I want to punch whoever did this. And what was so crazy too is that the boats were like almost in line with like the dock too. It was really scary because I pulled up, I was like, should I even park here? <laughs> like what if the water goes higher? That is crazy. And you know when you see something that like seems like it shouldn't be that way? Like I remember looking at the docks this morning and I was like, mm, is the water always this high? I was like, I could have swore that I can always see like underneath the dock. Um, and now, come to think of it, the boats this morning were so much higher than the docks, so it makes sense. You would have had to climb into your boat because it was floating on the water that was dock level, so it's crazy. So I just got home, and Ian and I are heading to the store because we have to get George a birthday gift. His birthday's not until Thursday? Sure. Is it? What is the first? Fra Thursday. So his birthday is on Thursday, but we are celebrating it tonight because tonight is the Packers Monday night football game. So we're going to run to the store to get him a gift and then we're heading over to their apartment to eat Chinese food and watch the game and celebrate his birthday. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. I'm driving to work and it looks like there's traffic whether I take the highway or just the regular street. So I'm like kind of at a crossroads right now where I'm like trying to decide how I should get to work. I think I'm gonna do highway just in case. I'm also leaving at like 8.18. I want you guys to understand that normally I wake up at like 8.20 um, to be at work by 9.30. Like I am really, really good at getting ready really fast in the morning. Um, typically I'm usually like 10 or 15 minutes late, but I'm just literally, I am the worst morning person ever. Like I do not 
function with mornings. Also don't function with nights. I'm just a person that should be sleeping like a bear all the time. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a morning person. I've never been a morning person. However, I got up this morning at like seven o'clock. Now I'm going to work and it's 8.20, which this is the time I normally wake up. And uh, it's, it's very, it's very early. I don't like this. Um, the reason I am up so early and going to work so early is because we have a ton of people flying into our office today. Um, like 20 people from corporate headquarters are coming down to our office for the week. They'll be here today, tomorrow, and Thursday, and I think they leave on Friday. So our office is gonna be jam-packed, which is already stressful enough because we don't have a ton of room. And on top of that, um, a lot of the big wigs from corporate are coming down. They want to kind of sit and chat with us one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm not necessarily afraid about that, but I'm more so just stressed out that I know it's gonna be a hectic week and then I have to come home and work on crafts and I'm off work on Friday for the fair and I'm just like, oh my God, I just wanna go back to sleep. Uh, I hate everything. <laughs> Literally my life, I try to be on time. And this happens. This is why I leave later because there's no traffic. But every time I leave early, this is what occurs. This is what I hit. I hate everything. Morning pups, I know that this vlog is within Tuesday's vlog and it's now Wednesday. However, I only filmed that one clip yesterday. So I figured it was pointless to put it in a vlog all on its own. Um, I can't express to you how crazy this week has been so far. It is so stressful. I'm rushing to get stuff done. I have so many things that I haven't finished for Wizard World and I have a lot going on at work. Everything is just super overwhelming this week. So I do apologize for not vlogging as much as I would like to be. Um, but you know, these weeks do happen and it should slow down after this week. Um, I was kind of bummed out too because I got a text message from Dashi yesterday and he asked me if I was free this weekend to film uh, Ghetto Doctor 2 and I was like, no, I'm doing Wizard World. Mm. I was like, but you know, I'm free next weekend and the weekend following. He was like, oh, actually, he's like, I might be going to Wizard World so maybe I'll see you there and I'm like, okay, because I, I I want to film a video with him so bad. Like our videos are always so funny and they get such a great response. So hopefully we can figure it out and we can end up filming a video whether he moves it back or it's another video. Um, goodness, I'm not used to getting up so early. Um, I know yesterday I told you guys I left at like 8.20 or something. Like I left even earlier this morning. Um, hopefully I will get some more vlogging done for you guys. Today is gonna to be so crazy at work. And there's a possibility that I might have to go to dinner with my coworkers tonight. I kind of have my fingers crossed that that doesn't happen because I have so much to do for the craft fair and I don't want to push it off until Thursday because Thursday's the day before and that makes me feel stressed. Um, but we'll see. I just got home. I had to run to Michael's. I didn't film because I wanted to get in and out because I have to film a video for Sama's channel because she is in Pakistan and her internet is not allowing her to upload to YouTube, so I told her I would film a very quick video for her, so <sighs> I like rushed home because I wanna get the video done before I lose my lighting, so I'm gonna go do that right now and then eat and then work on crafty stuff and hopefully try to stay sane. <laughs> so tonight was crazy with the amount of crafting that I did and it's almost one, so I'm going to sleep and hopefully tomorrow it will be just packing the boxes and getting everything organized and ready to go for Friday. Um, Roly should be over tomorrow. He is sleeping over um, to help with the craft fair all weekend, so hopefully he'll be able to help me get some stuff done as well, but I am going to sleep for right now. Good morning and happy Thursday, even though today is technically my Friday because I don't work tomorrow because I'll be at the convention. I am rushing out of the house. I've had some delays this morning because my stomach has not been my friend. I'm a little bit behind my schedule because I wanted to be at work by 9 o'clock. It looks like right now I'll probably get to work around like 9.15. Um, but yeah, so I'm leaving now because I have to go and then I have to come home and deal with all of this. Water is still so high. Like, you have to imagine these boats are usually about level with the dock. 
so when people get in they have to like actually have stairs like you can see that one guy's staircase right there so I just looked across the street this is kind of crazy I don't even know if I'll be able to get a good enough shot let me walk over here so check this out these boats are so high all right let me see if I can get a shot okay so do you see over there across the way where the dock is supposed to be the docks underwater that dock over there is underwater <laughs> that's how bad the tides have been since this super moon that's a crazy look how close this Trader Joe's is to being done I'm so excited and it looks massive I can't wait and then I got confused because I came to Office Depot, I'm on my lunch break by the way, and I drove over here to Office Depot. Office Depot, as you can see, there's still a sign on that building over there, was over there. But apparently they moved it to right here. So that's cool, I guess. I wonder what they're going to put in that giant building over there. Morning pups, I am literally running around like a crazy person with a chicken, with a head cut off, that made no sense. I'm trying to get out the door for Wizard World, making sure that I have everything um, unfortunately, Rolly had to go to the hospital last night, so he will not be there to help me today. So now I'm kind of like in, like, emergency mode. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to get out the door. Okay, so the con floor is opening in 20 minutes. And I finally got everything set up, so I'm going to show you guys my setup because I know a lot of you guys asked me to see it. So this is what I have. So I have some of my paintings here. And that is a light up painting. I have to turn it on once the con opens. I have more here that I couldn't even get out. Then I have a lot of my candles, which I still have to make more. I have some random odds and ends over here. This is another light up painting. I have buttons, hair bows, randoms. I have some of my Disney ears here and build your own book necklace. More canvases here. I have some Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff and Rainbow called Dreamcatchers. I have a mannequin head that's uh, showcasing my Elsa ears. That's what I did for all the necklaces I have. I hung them up up here so that when people want them, they can just tell me which one they want and then I will pull it down. I worked on this last night. I made a fandom globe, so that's kind of cool. I'm very excited about this one right here. I have my earrings and my buttons and then more cool stuff here. Yeah. So, and it even says Kaylee Kill. Oh, I should probably fix that though. Check that out. Anyway, so that is my crazy cool booth. It's uh, pretty massive, right? <laughs> I'm excited. Hopefully I'll sell like everything. I wanna go home with nothing left. So it is literally Saturday and I want you guys to understand that I haven't filmed anything today at the con because I assumed that I left my camera at home because I looked for it in my purse and I couldn't find it. I just found my camera sitting in an empty box within my stuff. So that means I left my camera here overnight, which The floor scares. will be closing in 20 minutes. The show floor will be closing in 20 minutes. Thank you. So that means that I left my camera here overnight, which really freaks me out. Awesome. Yes. So I'm really sad you didn't get to see like any of my costume. I'm like in the middle of taking it off now. Like I have like my gun holster and all of that. The rest of my arms over here. So I didn't film anything today and I'm really upset about that um, because I thought that my camera was at home but now like I'm more upset at myself because I can't believe that I left my camera here overnight. I'm so stupid. Good morning pups. Um, it's Wednesday. I honestly don't even know why I'm filming because my laptop died yesterday. Um, if you guys saw any of my tweets. I tried to open my laptop to edit some videos and it wouldn't turn on. There was like a folder with a question mark. Um, apparently my hard drive is lost and so it is currently at the one-click Apple store attempting to be repaired. I have a feeling it won't be so I figured whatever I might as well just keep filming videos like normal and hopefully I'll get my laptop back. So I'm just leaving work and <laughs> I, it occurred to me, I'm like, why am I filming these videos when I can't even edit till I get my laptop back? But I guess this will just be like a compilation video for you guys. 
Anyway, I got a call today from the one click in the mall and they said that it's gonna cost about $220 to fix my laptop. Um, they said it's $80 just to see if they can recover data. Just to see if they can recover data. And then it's about like $120, $130 to actually like rewrite the entire hard drive. Which my concern is if this happened once, what's to say this won't happen again? I kind of just want a brand new hard drive. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I have to kind of think it over. But either way, I have to go to OneClick today and bring them an external hard drive because they won't even do the data recovery unless I have a hard drive. Such BS. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I have to go home, find a hard drive, format it, and then take it to the mall. Fantastic. So I went and dropped off the hard drive and the store is actually next to a bookstore. So I stopped in because I'm really into reading like self-help books, um, but like witty funny ones. So I found this book. I'm out of breath because I just like ran up the stairs, but um, I found this book and it's called You Are a Badass and I like to read these types of things when I'm feeling down. Um, so I mean I really don't have any other explanation other than it just makes me feel a little better. So. I bought this book to read and hopefully it will help. And then I also bought this because I haven't actually found one in person yet and I found it and I was like, I deserve it. So I got Agent Coulson. <laughs> so now I have Agent May and Agent Coulson and now I just have to find Agent Coulson driving Lola. Um, I think it's one of the bigger pop vinyls. So that is my next thing to find. But Funny enough, this is like the first pop vinyl that I've ever bought myself. Um, all of the other ones that I have I've received as gifts or in boxes, so I've never actually purchased one for myself. So this is my first one. I almost bought Agent Carter though too, because I saw that one there and I was like, mm, I want that one. But I figured Colson is good enough for right now. I'm just starting to realize that I use my laptop so much in so many different ways and without it I feel like I'm going crazy. Like it's the weirdest thing. Um, I also don't feel too good today. Um, it's Thursday, October 8th um, and I've kind of felt terrible all week. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the convention and maybe catching something but at the convention I was like eating so many of those Hall's defense things. Um, because I didn't want to get sick. And I don't know if I don't feel well just because of everything going on with my laptop. I don't know, like it's just, it's weird and it sucks. And like, it's it feels strange to be like filming videos right now and not having an avenue of which to put them up. Like, I just feel like everything is going wrong. I hate it, I hate it so much. Ugh, I hate it. I don't have anything going on this weekend, and I'm so happy about that because that means I get to do some stuff for me. There are some things that I've wanted to do and I haven't had time to do for myself, so I might spend this weekend doing those things. And then I also might babysit my mom's dog on Saturday, which is kind of cool, so. I don't know, we'll see. I might read that book, I might read the whole book. <laughs> so this is kind of fun and crazy, huh? They have everyone stopped here for construction because they have one of those giant poles, like light fixture poles in the air. So I'm assuming that they can't let cars drive by until the pole is not in the air because, you know, if they drop it on a car, that's not what they're supposed to do. <laughs> so um, it's kind of interesting though, like never really seen a, one of these, I've never really seen one of these poles up in the air. So it's, it's really big. I mean, I know that the, the camera doesn't do it justice, but um, it's a pretty big pole. <laughs> like, it's pretty massive. So, there's like a, a lone soldier guy trying to grab it. What are you doing, dude? Oh, weird. It's like they're lowering it into the ground. Like, so it has to be like just so as they lower it. That's kind of crazy. Crazy and cool. Cool and crazy at the same time. That's interesting. You know, I kind of always wondered too, like how they put in these poles and these light fixtures and stuff. So that's kind of cool to know that that's how they do it. 